Have you ever heard of licking a frog to get high? Well, not only is this true, but research into these frogs can help us develop new methods of pain relief for humans. Hi, my name is Crystal Wilson, and I'm an assistant professor of chemistry here at Wingate University in North Carolina. I'm also a peptide chemist. Peptides are short proteins made of amino acids. In the lab, we can join these amino acids together to make very specific peptide sequences. So let's return to our frog friend. The giant monkey frog has been used by Amazonian tribes for centuries for pain relief. The frog secretes a peptide known as deltorphin through its skin. Deltorphins work in our brains by targeting specific opioid receptors. Morphine, another opioid drug, binds to the mu receptors, which cause pain relief, but also negative side effects such as respiratory depression and addiction. Deltorphins, however, bind to the delta receptors, which cause pain relief, but without the negative side effects. It makes sense then to design a drug which will bind to the delta receptors, but not to the mu receptors. The problem, if it binds to one, it probably binds to the other one. This is where chemistry can help. We don't have to design a drug uh, that doesn't bind to the mu receptors at all. We just have to design one that binds to the delta receptors so much more strongly that the mu doesn't matter anymore. This is called receptor selectivity. Knowing this, we set out to design a new delta selective peptide drug. We took the sequence of deltorphin and modified it to create a peptide with the amino acid sequence tyrosine, dialanine, phenylalanine, glutamic acid, isoleucine, isoleucine, glycine. What makes this peptide special, however, is a strategically placed atom of iodine that changes how the peptide binds to receptors. This molecule is called GATE38 and was tested for biological activity at the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York. There it was found that the peptide binds to delta receptors 37 times more strongly than it binds to the mu receptors. Also, when it was tested in healthy mice, the peptide showed potencies up to six times greater than morphine. This peptide represents an exciting new step in the safe relief of pain, and it was all thanks to the first person who decided to lick a frog to see what would happen. Thank you for allowing me to tell you about my research. Coming from a small liberal arts university, it's often difficult to share our research with the scientific community. This competition has given me the opportunity to tell people about Wingate University and hopefully helped others to appreciate chemistry a little bit more.